All of us who believe in God, we know we are precious to Him. But moreover, our faith teaches us that we are made to His image and likeness. Every person, whether big, small, whether rich or poor, whether learned or not learned, even those who misbehave also have an image of God. And that is why we say all the dignity, they have the dignity because they are sons and daughters of God. In these last days, we've had this push that seems to again enter into the debate that should a little child in the, mother of, in the womb of their mother be killed, be exterminated, and we know our faith tells us from the moment of conception when God intervenes in that love between a husband and a wife a woman and a man that child is blessed and is a creature of God known and loved in full an image of God and has full dignity from conception to death you're precious in the hands of God even in your old age that is why it is not only inhuman to even debate the possibility of terminating pregnancies, as they say, terminating fetus, that's not a fetus, that's my brother, that's my sister, however small and tiny. That discussion is about terminating the life of someone precious to God. It cannot be in any way tolerated. And that's why abortion of itself cannot be a debate. It is about safeguarding those little ones. And helping those mothers in distress to be also enhanced in their dignity. When we tolerate the agenda of others, it is not only we say it inhuman, but it is ungodly and a most terrible sin. It is an abomination which we cannot let, both in our culture, in our faith. And for that good mother, whatever may be the conditions that God has blessed to be a channel and vessel of his blessing, upon us. A child is a gift from God. Give him all the dignity, welcome him, and receive that blessing. God bless us as we defend our younger brothers and sisters still in their mother's womb.